going? Okay, this bookshelf is weird. Oh, okay. Where'd the girl go that just wanted somewhere to put her junk on? Wrong. I am not turning into Holly Homemaker. Okay, but look at it. His bookshelf is, it's wrong. It's throwing off the whole room. Just so you know, you sound very feng shui. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Plumbing problems are fixed. Wow. I even retrieved quite a few toy soldiers, none the worse for the journey. Oh, jeez. Put new batteries in the smoke detectors, and I even fixed the garbage disposal. Oh, my goodness, you're a godsend. Oh, and Nicholas stopped by, though I don't think he wants you to know. Did you guys fight? No, no, we actually had a fairly deep conversation. And if you ask me what it's about, I won't tell you. Okay. I guess I should be grateful he had someone to talk to. Who also happens to be a really awesome handyman. Not to mention your brother who loves you very much. I could use a little of that right now. Bad day? I had a little run-in with Lulu. I guess Lucky interrogated her on how much she knew about Nicholas's feelings for me. Lulu gave you a hard time. <laughs> she wasn't all that sympathetic. She managed to just stop short of basically accusing me of leading him on. Which is pretty much what she thinks, and I can't even argue it because she has every right to think that. I can't even imagine all the hostility and judgment people are going to have towards me if they find out what's really going on. I'm just so tired of feeling guilty and wrong every single day. And I just don't think it's going to change anytime soon. Why do you put up with Kiefer's crap? He's really not a bad guy. You know, he's just immature and insecure like most guys my age. This must seem so mundane to you. I mean, you've traveled all over the world. I can't even imagine the things you've seen and done. <laughs> no, it's not really that glamorous. I've seen the inside of many a bar and casino. That's about it. <laughs> well, a big day for us is going to the mall. I ask myself that question all the time. Why do I put up with Kiefer's moods? And what do you tell yourself? That he's a goal accomplished and nothing feels better. I've dreamed about a boyfriend like Kiefer for so long. Good looking, popular, older than me. I thought it would change everything. Well, it, it has. I mean, things haven't been the same since I started dating Kiefer. Just not in the ways I thought. You, know, you could always just leave him. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I could do that. Look, I really wish I could help, I, but I don't know what to say in these situations. <laughs> don't say anything. But. There is one thing you could do that would make me happy. What is it? Teach me how to play poker. Are you serious? My mom would have a cow, but who says we have to tell her? Okay, your mom is one of the last people I want pissed at me. <laughs> I'm sure your dad could talk to her. Please. Oh, okay. All right, Parker it is. Yeah. Come on, see me? Yeah, close the door. Something has been bugging me about this hit and run. The Ronnie versus Franco? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, look, Franco was all about Jason, right? And everybody he, he targeted or, 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 you know, brought into his freaky games was connected to Jason. Why Ronnie? Well, I just figured Ronnie was an opportunity. Franco hit him and then used it to leave signature items in Ronnie's hospital room, breadcrumbs for Jason, right? Yeah, but maybe Franco wanted to talk to Ronnie. Talk to Ronnie my boy. about something that could be useful to us. <laughs> or useful in, in what way? To steer the police investigation in another direction. 